All right, so Mike, you're, you're ducking the Mets, huh? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, I figured I figured that'd be the first thing you say. I'm actually, uh, you, I was just out here trying to do everything I can to get in the series. You know, I, everything felt good, so, um, you know, very light running, but um, we'll see. I don't, you know, I'm dying to get in that box again. You know, I just I just want to feel that dirt again, and, and uh, it sucks that, you know, a little hiccup in Toronto, you know, kind of put a damper on, uh, on me coming back here, but... We'll see. I mean, I, I may be available. I mean, obviously, it's going to happen at some point, but what do you think it will be like to step into that box in an opposing uniform for the first time? Uh, it's going to be surreal. Um, taking my walk from the opposite side over here, even sitting on this side doesn't, I mean, it feels weird. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect with the with the video. I didn't expect to get emotional. I got a little bit emotional. We've talked about the connection with the fans a little bit the last couple of days, and I mean, you're you're mentioning certain fans by name, like things that that probably don't happen in a lot of places. Just how different is that connection in New York, and you know that experience of of you know having that back and forth with the fan base. Um. I, you know, I think it's just a, it's a sense of, you know, you get the feeling that these fans live and die, you know, on these games. They are so passionate, um, and it means a ton to them. And they show up, um, you know, wanting a win just as bad as the players do. They're very, very invested, uh, you know, in, in, in how the team's doing, and, and I think that's a, you know, it can be a beautiful thing. It can, be, it can also be a tough thing, but... Um, you know, when you're when you're doing well, when the team's doing well, um, you know, it's hard to beat this place. Now you've talked in the past. I mean, there was a time where I'm sure you didn't think you were ever going to leave New York City and, and the Mets. Are you somebody that you know, looks back a lot and thinks about either what could have been or, or how it went, or are you very much able to just focus on where you're at and, and what's going to be in the future? Um, I, you know, I try hard to, to be where my feet are. Um, you know, I do look back and I do, you know, think about, um, you know, just just my journey. Um, but I think I look back at it, you know, more in the in the lens of, of just being happy that I had those those experiences. Uh, not so much with regret. Um, you know, just just more gratitude that that I had the opportunity to do the things that I did here and. Um, you know, I, I definitely, there was a time when I, I thought, you know, this was going to be where I was going to be, but, um, but here I am and, and, you know, we're still, I'm still growing, I'm still getting better and, and, um, you know, I have a lot to thank, you know, the Giants organization for, for putting their faith in me and, and, you know, here we are having a great season and, um, you know, kind of, you know, doing some things that, that we're very proud of and, and so I couldn't be happier with where I'm at and, you know, so I think that that mindset has helped me get to where I am now. Um, and uh, you know, again, though, I I just I look back at, at my time with the Mets with, with just gratitude.